so we're gonna be making chicken pita rolls with tabbouleh and hummus. And it's a super quick, super easy recipe that you can make really any night of the week. I really even like it for iftar because um, during the busy you know, week where you're hungry, coming home from work, and you want something nutritious and healthy, it's a great um, end of the fasting day meal as well. So the ingredients are super simple. It's just uh, olive oil or grapeseed oil, um, chicken, I use boneless, uh, skinless thigh. Uh, it's more economical and, you know, just just great, um, great to use. Black pepper, salt. You can use um, Himalayan salt, sea salt, whatever salts you like. And then the secret ingredient and what's going to really make it caramelize is vinegar. And I like to use flavored vinegars like pomegranate, uh, apple cider vinegar. I like the darker vinegars because it gives the meat a sort of caramely um, uh, flavor and color. And um, I really just like that. So it's really, really quick. We just need to heat the pan with our oil. And it's about a tablespoon or two of oil that goes in. Just to cover the pan. Now, we're not deep frying anything, we're just sauteing, so we don't want too much oil at the bottom of the pan. You can add spices if you want, but I keep the ingredients really simple because in the wrap that we're gonna make, we have the flavors of tabbouleh, which are parsley and tomatoes and lemon juice, and, and then we have hummus, and so there's lots of flavor going on. We don't really need anything else. So we're just gonna give that a minute while the the oil gets nice and hot, and then add in our chicken. So I use about a pound of chicken for two to three sandwiches, which is great because if you have any leftovers, you can cut them up and save them for iftar the next day or lunch the next day. It's just, they're wonderful. Um, and you can even just make the chicken ahead of time, warm it up, and then do the sandwiches um, when you're actually ready. So it's a great make-ahead meal as well. Okay, once the oil's hot enough, you want to add the chicken. You hear that nice sizzle. And you, the one rule of cooking meat when you want it to get nice and brown is to never crowd the pan. Once you crowd the pan, you start to steam things, particularly meat. And when you want a nice brown sear, that's the last thing you wanna do. So you wanna give the meat enough room to to brown nicely. And in this recipe, we're gonna let the meat cook on one side before we actually start flipping anything around. So while it's cooking on one side, I'm just gonna add my uh, pepper, black pepper, and salt. I like to use Himalayan uh, salt uh, just because I, I love the pink color and it's really a nice, nice and healthy salt. Um, but you can use anything that you like. So we're gonna let that sort of get comfortable and get browned on one side and then we'll do, we'll flip it over and then add the vinegar and that will start to brown it and then within 10 minutes or less, your meat is done. And then we'll start plating the sandwich.